Welcome to JS Production and today we are going to look at the solution of question 9 of Mathematics Pass Paper 2 of 2015. So this question deals with statistics. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So the question reads, answer the whole of this question on a sheet of graph paper. On a particular day, a tax shop owner recorded the expenditure of 350 boys and the results were were as shown in the table below. So as you can see the table, then uh, question A reads, calculate the mean amount of money spent, three max. Question B reads, copy and complete the cumulative, uh, the cumulative frequency distribution, one mark. As you can see, uh, that's the table. Question C reads, using a horizontal scale of two centimeters to represent 10 quatra and a vertical scale of 2 cm to represent 50 boys. Draw a smooth cumulative frequency scale, 3 marks. Question D reads, showing your method clearly, use your glove to estimate Roman numero 1, the median, 1 mark, Roman numero 2, the semi interquartile range, 2 marks. Question E reads, given that those who spend 75 quatra or more qualify qualified for a draw in a competition to win a prize. Find the number of boys who qualified for the draw. Two marks. Question 9 reads, answer the whole of this question on a sheet of graph paper. On a particular day, a tax shop owner recorded the expenditure of 350 boys and the results were as shown in the table below. So as you can see, that's the table. Question A reads, calculate the mean amount of money spent. Three marks. So to calculate the mean amount of the money spent, I know that mean is represented by X and the bar. So x and y is equals to the summation of f of x divided by the summation of f. So I'm going to use this table to find the summation of f of x and the summation of f. So I'm going to write my mark, my frequency, which is represented by the letter f, my middle value, which is represented by the letter x, and uh, my f of x. So f of x means frequency multiplied by the middle value. Then uh, I'm, I'm going to have uh, 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90, 90 to 100. Then I'm going to write the frequency. So the frequency of 10 to 20, that's 20. Then I'll have 50, I'll have 55, I'll have 70, I'll have 60, I'll have 45, I'll have 35, I'll have 10. And I have five. So the summation of these uh, frequencies are 350. Then I'm going to find the, uh, the middle value. So the middle value, you just say the first term uh, plus the second term divided by two. So for the first one, I have 15. For the sec second one, I have 25. I have 35. I have 45. I have 55. I have 65. I have 75. I have 85. And I have 95. Then I'm going to find f of x by multiplying the frequency and the middle value. So for the first one, I have 300. The next one, I have 1250. Then I have 1925. Then I have 3150. Then I have 3300. Then I have 2925. Then I have 2625. I have 850, I have, four th I have 475, 
and the summation is 16,800. So the mean is found by the formula which says the summation of f of x and the summation of f. So the summation of uh, f of x is 16,800 divided by the summation of f which is 350. So I'll say mean is equals to 16,800 divided by 350 is 48. Question B reads, copy and complete the cumulative frequency distribution, one mark. <music> to complete the cumulative frequency distribution table, where x is less than or equal to 80 and where x is less than or equal to 90. I'll be adding one number to the next number. So where x is less than 10, that's 0. And where x is less than or equal to 20, that's 20. So to find the next one, I'll say 20 plus 50, which is 70. To find my next number, I'll say 70 plus 55, which is 125. Then I'll add 125 and 70. I'm going to have 195. Then 195 plus 60. I'm going to have 255. 255 plus 45. I'm going to have 300. So to, fi to find my missing number where x is less than or equal to 80, I'll say 300 plus 35, which is 300 and 35 then to find my missing number where x is less than or equal to 90 i'll say 300 uh, 335 plus 10 which is 345 then 345 plus 5 is uh, 350 question c reads using a scale of 2 centimeters to represent 10 quarter and a vertical scale of 2 centimeters to represent 50 boys. Draw a smooth cumulative frequency scale. 3 marks. So to draw my smooth cumulative frequency scale of using a horizontal scale of 2 centimeters to represent 10 quarter and a vertical scale of 2 centimeters to represent 50 boys. The first thing that I'm going to do is to draw the horizontal scale of 2 centimeters to represent uh, 10 quarts. So I'm going to have 10 divisions. So I'm just going to make uh, 10 divisions. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 8, 90, and 100. And I'm going to put my uh, x axis. At the far end and the amount in quarters then uh, on the vertical scale I know that uh, 2 centimeters is representing 50 boys so I'm going to have seven uh, divisions so I'll 50 100 150 200 250 300 and 350 then I can now plot my points so the first point is a uh, the first point is 10, 10, 0. The next point is uh, 20, 20. The other point is uh, 30, 70. Then the other point is 40, 125. The other point is 50, 195. The other point is Sixty comma two fifty five. The other point is seventy comma three hundred. Then uh, the other point is uh, sixty comma three hundred and thirty five. Then the other point is ninety comma. 
345 then the last point it's 350 350 and 100 so you can just connect uh, these uh, these points so the curve must look in that way so it means i've just drawn my accumulated my cumulative frequency curve question d reads showing your method clearly use your graph to estimate loma numero one the median one mark So to find the median using the graph uh, but you must take note that uh, the u it's a uh, it's an a there was just a mistake in terms of writing so median is equals to half multiplied by the total number of the frequency which is the uh, cumulative frequency so i'm going to say half multiplied by 350 so half multiplied by 350 it's uh, 175 so I'm going to go to my graph and I'm going to uh, plot my 175 so that I can get my median so 175 is between 150 and 200 so if I say 200 plus 150 uh, divide by 2 I'm going to have 175 so I plot uh, my line on 175 to the cumulative frequency curve then I'm going to uh, select the color that would distinguish uh, the line which I've just I'm just from drawing and that of the cumulative frequency curve So I've just selected that color. So the next thing I'm going to draw uh, the line that to go down to the horizontal uh, the horizontal axis, which is uh, the axis which contains the amount. So I'll draw my line in that way. So the point where the line touches the x-axis uh, that is the point where the median is so uh, that point is uh, if I calculate on the graph that point it's so I'm just going to record it down So I know that uh, my median is equals to my median is equals to forty six quatch. So that's my median forty six quatch. Roma numero 2, the semi intercotal range, 2 max. So 
so to find the semi interquartile range i know that the formula that is used is uh, the upper quartile minus the lower quartile divided by 2 so the upper quartile is represented by q3 and the lower quartile is represented by q1 so I'll first start by finding q1 and q3 so i know that my lower quartile which is represented by q1 is equals to 1 divided by 4 multiplied by uh, the total number of uh, the uh, cumulative frequency which is 350 so 1 divided by 4 multiplied by 350 is uh, 87.5 so i'm going to go on the graph and i'm going to plot my 87.5 so that i can get my lower quartile so as you can see i've already drawn on the graph and that's uh the point that is representing my lower quartile so if i check on the graph that's uh it will give me 33 so my lower quartile it's a uh, 33 that's my lower quartile so i'm going to say q1 is equals to according to to the graph i've found it's a 33 quarter <clears throat> then the next thing i'm going to find the upper quartile which is represented by q3 so my upper quartile is equals to half multiplied by the total number of the frequency which is the uh, cumulative frequency so i'll, I'll say uh, sorry not half but uh, three over four multiplied by the total number of frequency so three over four multiplied by 350 and uh, the answer is uh, 262.5 so i'm going to go go on the graph and plot 262.5 so that i can find my upper quartile so i've already drawn as you can see on the graph that's where my 20, uh, 262.5 is and uh, if i check on the horizontal axis i discover that my upper quartile is 61.5 so that's my upper quartile I'm, I'm just going to write it over here so i'll say i'll say q3 is equals to is equals to 61.5 quarter since I have the upper quartile and the lower quartile, this means I can calculate the semi interquartile range. So I'll say semi semi interquartile semi interquartile range. semi interquartile range is equals to my upper quartile which is represented by q3 minus the lower quartile which is represented by q1 divided by 2 so i'll say my semi interquartile range will be equal to my upper quartile that's 61.5 quarter and my lower quartile that's the three quarter divide by two so i'll say my semi interquartile range will be equal to Sixty-one point five minus the three. That's twenty-eight point five. 
so I have 28.5 divided by 2 then I'll say my semi intercultural range is equals to 28.5 divided by 2 it's a uh, 14.25 and I know that uh, that's quacha so that's a uh, 14.25 quacha so that's uh, the semi interquartile range Question E reads, given that those who spend 75 kwacha or more qualified for a draw in a competition to win a prize, find the number of boys who qualified for the draw, 2 marks. So to find the number of boys that can qualify for the draw, I know that uh, the condition is only those that can spend 75 kwacha and above. So I'm going to go uh, on the horizontal axis and I'm going to draw my uh, line at 75 kwacha. So that's in between 70 and 80. So I'll draw that line and it needs it needs to touch the cumulative frequency curve. So as you can see I've drawn uh, that line which is coming from 75 to the cumulative frequency curve. Then I'll draw another line uh, another line that will touch uh, the y axis or the number of boys so that i can find uh, the number of boys who can qualify for the draw so as i can see uh, on the y axis that's uh, 320 so uh, that's uh, 320 and the maximum number of boys are uh, on the y-axis uh, is uh, 350 so to find the number of boys that can qualify for the draw I'll say 350 minus 320 so 350 minus 320 that is 30 boys so that's the number of boys that can qualify for the draw don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel this program has been brought to you by Joe Wald I'm promoting free education around Zambia. Stay blessed and I'll meet you next time. Peace.